tell. The uh, the reinforcements have arrived. The Hitachi digger. There's a lot of concrete. God. The blade's quite wide as well, which is a pain in the ass, but Jay's on it anyway. Take two. Oh. Right, it's Monday the full squad again. Alex, Jason. Here we go. We're going from here to the other side. Coming out 2.8 straight across. It's going to be in brick. It's going to have a window, door, window, window, door. So all this is coming out, the wall's coming down, We're waiting for the mini digger, fence, obviously the fence is coming down. Give you a quick look at the, um, just getting all the gear out, give you a quick look at the plans. There we go, here's our plans, I've actually printed them off today. So, here we go, this is as, as the building is, like that. So, got a bit, bit to a door. Sorry, window, then the door opposite the existing door. Window, window, door. So we've got a utility at the back, and a snug room, and a little hallway. So, um, there's our measurements. 7960s wide, and it's 2.8 projection. So, this is how we square it up. This is for our diagonals. So this is how we check square corner to corner like that. So you take your 2.8 and you square it, which is the X2 key on your, on your phone, which gives you 7.84. Take your 7.960, again square it, gives you 63.361. Add them two together, gives you 71.2016. And then that's the key you press, the square root key, which is the square root key with the two and the X on it. And that gives you your diagonal which is 8 meters 438 so that's our diagonals when we're, when we're setting out to check corner to corner somebody asked us to run through that so if you um i mean you can always pause it and go through that a bit, a bit slower but that's it for today we're just waiting on hodgins to deliver as a mini digger so there's plenty to do while waiting for them so we're yeah we're gonna go and crack on so we'll see you over there
Solid clay. I'm getting this out by hand because I don't want to go near this cable with the digger. And then um, we've got a little bit of house clean to do first. <coughs> Drag it all back. <coughs> I'm just debating whether where to put it because the dig's only coming to here. So I've got this strip of it, strip here to go along here with all the stuff. But it's it's how much it's going to take up. We might have to spread it around there on boards, a bit around there on the boards as well, and just pile up. We might have to might have to pile some up in the centre on the pudding and hopefully even if he gets up on the kerb should be able to reach that I should think but we'll see we'll crack on and reinforcements have arrived Hodgins have just dropped off the digger so almost a bit of a um, speed bump as you can see that gap is a bit narrow but thankfully we've given it a measure and all we have to do is take this post off and we should be good so we'll get this wheeled in and then we can uh, make a start with some proper digging. 
So uh, thank you Hodgson's for bringing it all the way out here. Yeah, we took the post out this side, but the uh, the cab's too far over, and we'd have to cut a, put a foot off the hedge. And if we cut all that off, there's going to be no foliage left on it. So there's nothing on the end, so all the post is coming out, and we should just squeeze it through then. The blade's quite wide as well, which is a pain in the ass, but Jay's on it anyway. This one to your satisfying compilation. What's that? That must be 18 inches deep, that. That is some hop fence post. Probably 6x6. And a lot of concrete right in the corner. I'll break that with the breaker, mate. Now that is a lot of concrete. God. That's some of it. Watch your feet. That's it. You can quite clearly see the post now. And there's my my injury. I'm just smack myself in the face of the bar. It's bleeding now. Yeah. It's a little bit tougher than the last one, but I've got to get it done. One a big chunk of concrete at a time. Wow, it's like an apocalypse, isn't it? Bury me. <laughs> Maybe. So, there's some path. There's some path over there. That was just the path there and path there. That was six inches thick. That took some getting up. The two posts are out. Now we've just got this pile here, and it's where we're going to put it. And it's um, pan dig down this side because we can't get the digger in there. And Jason's going to get as much as he can down this way and down that way. And then we're gonna to have to strip off as well for the um, the floor. But it's worth to put everything. We're gonna bring some extra boards tomorrow. We might just end up putting it on the road in front of the um, in front. Of the, there's a van on the road, so we're gonna put put it, put it on the road in front of that because the road, the van doesn't move. So it'll be it'll be it should be okay there. But yeah, we're running out of room. We've only got this stri this strip to put the stuff on, and maybe a bit inside as well. So let's see how we, how we get on by the end of today. Uh, my nose is okay, it's, it hurts, but it's not too bad, I could have broke it, but... So, I'll stop talking and go and help.
Well, it's been a sluggish day, but we've made some good progress, I'd say, all things considered. After a few injuries. Nose, chin, awesome. eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Yeah. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Yeah. But um, as you can see, well, I'll take you over there instead of trying to point it. Dad's made a start here. Jason's been moving all the crap. Huh? That's a good job. Why is it? Oh, there's a uh, gas pipe there, which is pretty high up. But good thing is that means we don't have to uh, concrete, concrete it. It will just go over that with, over the block work. But yeah, so Jason's been moving that crap around and digging some of this out. And we've got this bit done, so to speak. So. It looks like we've done something. That's the main thing. So, <laughs> see you tomorrow.